Hello everyone, this is video 4 of automating a report in Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Excel 2010. And in this video we're going to discuss how we can put all the macros together to make it work seamlessly in updating your report. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go to my developers tab, Visual Basic, and do this workbook. Now in the workbook open, this is what we're going to do. We're going to first create an if statement. If active workbook dot file no it's going to be dot name equals and in this case test file dot xlsb then and then of course the code that we're going to run and I'm going to delete this message box already and the reason why I'm doing this just in case you missed the the previous video previous video when we save the workbook as read only into a public location we change the file name we change it from from test file that xlsb the name that I currently have it as and we change it into public report at xlsb into in this case the public location to where people will be accessing this file this file that we're in right now test file that xlsb is not the file that the end user will see it's going to be public report at xlsb so what we're going to do in this workbook in workbook open is this code is only going to run if the file name is test file that xlsb the code will not run if you're opening up the public file because if that's the case then every time this workbook is open if we, if we don't have this if if statement in here every time the workbook is opened the report's going to update by itself and it's going to close and nobody will ever be able to use it so obviously we don't want that so the code's only going to run if it's the test file that xlsb um, that that's being opened up so let's go on and put this code all together the first thing that we're going to want to do is transfer the data so we're going to run this macro it's going to do call transfer data and then we're going to call the other macro I'm just going to copy it here go back to this workbook call save workbook read only public um, location and I'm going to go on and just save this and I'm going to close it out so on my desktop I only have test file that xlsb when I open this file it should generate our public file right here once it's completed so I'm gonna go on and open it up and there you go Excel remains open there isn't any way to close the Excel window itself but I'm gonna close Microsoft Excel and now we have public report that XLSB I'm gonna go on and open this up and as you noticed there was a slight mistake and you know when I do these videos I don't have them pre-planned I program as is and so here we made a mistake and I'm gonna go on and correct that if you notice the data was pasted in sheet one and not sheet um, raw data so we're gonna go on and make this change and correct that so I'm gonna delete public report at XLSB go back to my test file and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need to do this is going to be an issue because test file that xlsb is is already set to auto run so I'm going to go on and open up my public report I'm going to clear out sheet 1 delete go to my developers tab macros transfer data I'm going to need to modify this, mac uh, this macro although we put sheets raw data visible equals true we did not select it and we need to select it that way it pastes the sheet into the raw data tab so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and I'm gonna do file save as and I'm gonna put this back as test file dot xlsb and now I'm gonna delete our public report and let's go on and try this again. Test file at XLSB, we're going to open it. And there you go. Oh, let's open up our public report. And now under Sheets, raw data, the information is here. 
sheet 2 is blank and sheet 1 is blank which is what we initially had in the first place so just to make sure everything's working right I'm actually gonna delete test file again open up public report I'm gonna clear out the raw data sheet I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna select sheet 1 I'm gonna do file save as I'm gonna put it back into our desktop test file that XLSB hit save and the only reason why I'm saving again as test file that XLSB is because the workbook open procedure will only run if we're opening up test file that XLSB I mean as the file name so I'm gonna go and open it up again alright it's closed automatically it worked as it should I'm gonna double check that by looking at the public report file and here, here you have it again. The raw data information was placed in here. Sheets 2 and sheet 1 are blank. So the code worked as we wanted it to. And if we right click public report, hit properties, it's a read only file. So if you had an end user that was making changes to it, as an example, and they try to close it and save it, they're going to get a report saying public report is read only. To save a copy, click OK. So this way, your end users will not be able to modify your original file unless they actually, of course, delete it, which hopefully they don't. But if that was to happen, you can just rerun your test file report, which will which will publish again the file for you and replace the one that was already there. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. Thank you for watching.